Hi Tribers, hope you're having just an awesome Wednesday if you're on Oz side of the world. And if you're on this side of the world, it's Tuesday night and you too can be having a, you know, an awesome Tuesday night. There's no reason why you can't. So I wanna to talk to you with uh, the last two, three days we've talked about uh, science of achievement uh, and how that is really, we can learn the skills and tools and strategies to go out and achieve whatever we wanna achieve in our given field and be super successful in those areas. Then we talked about the art of fulfillment, I think was the other uh, point. And you know, the, making the choice to live a more fulfilled life and making the choice to live in a life of less suffering and making a choice to uh, uh, live in a more fulfilled life as opposed to just forever striving to, to get and striving to achieve. And the difference between achievement, we can be an achiever, we can be highly successful and we can still not be fulfilled. So seeking that fulfillment in life is super important. And one of the things that can really help us is our states. You know, we've been talking a little bit about how we can change our states. The state that I'm talking to you right now is a hired state. You know, I could be talking to you in this state really quietly and, uh, you know, quite uh, reserved state and you'd probably be bored to tears. Or I can continue to talk to you in this state with my physiology changing that state a little bit. Um, you know, the thing is, we can live in two states really probably two states mostly can ca categorize a lot of things in a suffered or negative state or in a beautiful and happy state. So there's our two choices, a positive state or a depressed state. And we can do it, we can make a lot of adjustments of our state just by our physiology, just the way that we, that we carry ourselves. You know, by, the, by realizing that life's too short, firstly, from a mental standpoint, life's too short to suffer. You know, so we, if we change the bar and raise the bar or, or raise our standards, if you like, uh, as far as suffering goes and raise our standards as far as how we want to live. So if we become totally aware of that. Well, then that would be probably the first point in changing our state. Secondly, we can change our physiology. You know, we change our physiology by the way that we walk into a room confidently, our shoulders back, you know, we can be upright as opposed to we can walk into a room really, you know, really quite down and really quite upset or really quite in a suffered manner. Or we, the way that we present our voice, the intensity that we, we can lock in and focus with someone when we're talking in a conversation or when we're talking to them, you know, we can be talking to them and looking away or we can be talking to them looking straight to the eye, you know, and we can have some, a little bit of enthusiasm and a little bit of joy and a little bit of passion the way that we continue and come home with a point, you know, um, the way that we connect with somebody, you know, facially is really, really important. So the physiology, my point is, you know, there's a little bit of over uh, dramatization, I guess, but my point is we can either be here and be quite, you know, um, not physical and not sort of locking in and, you know, just to be, be a little bit sad or a little bit you know, from a suffered state, or we can be in a to totally locked in focused state. So the difference in our physiology is huge. The way that we walk into a room, if I feel like I'm feeling coming from a little suffered state, I can change that state by quick, quickly making a move um, and making a confident move. And it might be even considered a power move into a change state. All of a sudden, I'm a little more energized. Also, my breathing can help me. You know, the way that I breathe, if I can breathe, my breathing in the morning, one of my rituals that I do in the morning is a real good way to change your state. Power moves, you know, power moves here, whether it's a power move there, whether it's a power move from a voice, from, a vo uh, from my voice, the way I present. So there's, there's different ways to change your physiology and just realize that um, emotion is created by motion. So if you wanna put some emotion into your life, if you wanna put some emotion into your conversation, if you wanna put some emotion into your day and into your state, then you can do it with motion. All right, it's, it's probably one of, there's two ways that we can do it, by focus, the way that we change our focus, and the one that I really like is the way that we do it with our body, and that's the physiology. Change your physiology, change your state, change your life. Hopefully that helps. Go out and be great today. Go out and be great tonight. Remember, you can live a life by design. You've got to be conscious. You've got to work on some things. You've got to continue to make changes, continue to make strides through the day, and I know you can do it, and I know you can change your life and live an optimal life. Be great. Talk to you tomorrow.